Hello, my name's John. I'm part of the Open the Book team. I'm sorry we can't be with you because of the virus. But the story that we're going to tell you today is called The Soldier's Tale. Do you sometimes stand at the edge of things and watch what's happening? Like standing at the end of, edge of a football field, watching the game. Like standing at the edge of the playground, watching other children playing games. Today's story was written especially for Open the Book, based on what we read about Easter in the Bible. It imagines that there was a soldier who watched everything that happened to Jesus. So let's open the book to the Bible story called A Soldier's Tale. The soldier stood back while his friends mocked and made fun of Jesus. The soldier shook his head. It didn't seem right somehow. The other soldiers hit Jesus. They put a purple robe around his shoulders and pressed a rough crown upon his head made of prickly thorns. The soldier murmured, This can't be right. This man Jesus, he hasn't harmed anyone. They say he's a good man, a teacher, someone who talks about God, someone who cares about the poor. They even say he makes blind men see and lame men walk. What we're doing to him, it can't be right. The soldier watched as Jesus was taken to the Roman governor, Pilate, to be tried. Pilate asked Jesus lots of questions and then he called to the crowd. I can't find anything wrong with this man. What do you want me to do with him? The crowd didn't like Jesus, so they shouted. Crucify him! Let him die! Crucify him! Let, Let him, him die! die. Pilate asked, Why? What crime has he committed? But the crowd shouted all the louder, Kill him! Crucify him! Kill, Kill him! Crucify, Crucify him. him! Pilate shouted back, Why? Tell me why you want him to die? Because he says he's God's son. Kill him! Because, because he, he says he's God's, God's son. son. Kill, Kill him. him! The soldier said to himself, Kill him? That can't be right. The other soldiers made Jesus carry his heavy cross through the streets to the hill outside the city wall. There they nailed his hands and his feet to the cross and left him there to die in the hot sun. Jesus prayed. Father, forgive them. They don't understand what they are doing. At last, Jesus died. The sky went dark and the earth shook. The soldier muttered to himself and shook his head. What on earth is happening? I don't understand all of this, but I know something is just not right. Jesus' friends were heartbroken. They took his body down and wrapped it carefully in a linen cloth and then they laid it in a tomb, a rough cave in a garden. The entrance to the cave was sealed with a huge, heavy stone. The friends walked home with sad hearts. It seemed like the end of everything. The soldier watched from a distance and then he took his place guarding the tomb. He leaned on the heavy stone and gave it a shove. Nothing. It wouldn't move a millimetre. At least Jesus can rest in peace now, he said to himself and settled down for the night. And for two whole nights, everything was peaceful for the guards at the tomb. And when the sun rose on the third day, the soldier rubbed his sleepy eyes and then jumped up in amazement. The stone, it had gone, it had rolled away. The soldier peered into the tomb. The body had gone, it had disappeared. This can't be right, the soldier cried as he backed away from the tomb, shaking his head. When he looked back, 
he saw two shining figures moving around inside the tomb. He gasped. This can't be right. The tomb was definitely empty. Who are they? What are they? Could they be angels? Then he noticed a woman crying by the tomb. Why are you crying? asked one of the angels. The woman sobbed. Jesus has been taken away and I don't know where he is. The angel replied. Why are you looking in a graveyard for someone who is alive? Hiding nearby, the soldier gasped. Jesus? Alive? And then the soldier heard another voice. So did the woman. She heard her name. Mary? The soldier watched as Mary recognised the voice. It was Jesus. Master, she cried, running to meet him. Jesus said, Stop, don't touch me, but go back and tell the others that I've come back to life just as I said I would. The soldier couldn't believe his eyes. Then he remembered what the crowd had said. He says he's God's son. It couldn't be right, could it? Could Jesus really be God's son? But I've seen it with my own eyes. He is alive. And after that, many, many people saw Jesus alive again. And so they understood that Jesus really was God's own son and that he was alive again. For Christians, this is the most wonderful story of all, because it tells how Jesus won the battle against everything that is bad and proved his power by coming back to life. Christians celebrate this story every year on Easter Sunday. Close your eyes for a moment and think about the part of the story where the woman Mary saw Jesus alive again. Imagine how wonderful that must have been. Now, I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your prayer, you say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you that this story tells us the wonderful news that Jesus is alive. Thank you that you love us so much that you planned a way that Jesus could be our friend for always. Amen. So, happy Easter to you all. Bye for now from the Open the Book team. Bye. Bye. Stay safe and we'll see you next time. Bye.